Looking. Yeah. At um, uh, let me yeah, see. Yeah, there was a there was a file in your pull request called what was it? It was like jQuery. It had something to do with jQuery. It was minified something. Was it that or oh, minified? Yeah. Hang on, let me look. In the Java, oh, jQuery, scroll to, yeah. That's that, um, it's just a little thing that uh, I, I picked up um, and used. It scrolls to, when you open um, those cards, it scrolls it up into position, like, all nice and pretty. It's not real huge or anything. Okay. It's, so, I mean, I'm sure he, I, I had a, another solution, but it just immediately snapped to it, and it wasn't very pretty. And, I mean, maybe there's another way to do it. I'm totally open to, you know, anything you want to do instead. No, I just, I just wanted to know what it was. And I, you know, for that matter, we could just yank it out and put it in a, another <clears throat> jQuery scroll, too. That's the one. Yeah. We could just copy it out and put it into um, the contributing JS where I have my other code, I suppose. If you wanted to d just do away with the file, but keep the functionality. No, let, let's keep it as a separate file. Well, that's yeah. what I was thinking, just because if a better solution came along, it'd be easier to toss. Yeah, yeah, because otherwise we're going to be like, now where is that Where is that jQuery JS scroll to code? Yeah, and, you know... For sure, somebody I'm sure has a better solution. It's just what I found, you know, in my quick search for it because I'm not J jQuery master yet. So, right. <laughs> but who among us is? <laughs> I don't know. Not me. <laughs> Definitely not me. So I guess for our masses of viewing public here, um, I had a. A little bit of back and forth on email with Sam. Um, just I was just trying to figure out what uh, exactly we're we're meant to do here with uh, kind of merging the Odin scrums into the AV scrums. Um, and so I guess <coughs> I actually didn't get a chance to read his final email, but I think the idea is to uh, try and try and kind of make make the scrums open to additional projects as well. I mean, obviously, um, we're going we're gonna to cover the Odin project every time here just because that's what I'm doing. But, um, you know, if, if there are other people or other projects that, you know, that just need some coordination on, on this time zone, on this time, um, send them in, um, okay. especially projects under the umbrella of agileventures.org. Okay. So that's... My pitch to you, my pitch to the world. Try and, try and, I don't know, merge those two ideas from just Odin scrums to an inclusive Odin scrums. But right now, there's just two of us here with the Odin scrum. I'll uh, post it on the Skype. There's uh, maybe somebody around. That's where they normally look. If I can find it. Yeah, so this is my last one of the week just because I'm going to be traveling tomorrow. But starting on Monday, <clears throat> I'm going to kind of try and be a little bit more official about including other projects in the Scrum. Cool. But I, I will personally disclaim any, any organizational role in other projects just because I don't have time to get involved with sort of understanding the ins and outs and needs of each project, but I assume that someone else will be able to do that. Basically, what we do in um, the uh, scrums, <clears throat> excuse me, in the uh, uh, AV scrums is um, whoever's there, ask what you have been working on. If you're stuck on anything and need help, if you need to pair up and would like to work on anything, and let each person kind of, you know, describe the project they're working on if you're not, you know, involved with it because, I mean, there nobody's going to know everything about every project. Right. It just gives <laughs> everybody an opportunity to, you know, talk about something that they need up or something. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's see here. So 
I've actually got quite a few things. Let me just pull up my calendar here. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to be officially going live uh, not next week, but the following week, at least in terms of trying to get some somebody to take notice. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep slowly pushing the project out in various places to try and get some feedback from developers and things like that. And I'm going to keep doing some polishing-related stuff. So um, my, my to-do list includes fixing up the curriculum and breaking it out. Like so, those uh, the JavaScript projects. Um, I guess I might as well, might as well do a screen share here. Do do do. Let's get that going. Do 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 do. Charge. Okay. So here's the Odin project. So right now the HTML, JavaScript, and getting hired stuff they're just jammed into one file as resources because it's not complete. I'm at least going to break those out into individual files because it's just this long, 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 long list. Uh, I think people benefit a lot from that, at least from being able to sort of browse a little bit better. <coughs> and then maybe maybe try and at least, you know, high-level spec out some of the projects. I don't know what I'm going to have time for. So that's that's on my list of curriculum stuff on the on the tracker here. And, but I'm gonna I'm gonna move them up a little bit more than they were because I don't even know where they are on the tracker. Well, I don't know. And so many things, so many things to do. Hmm. So I'll change this release date here. So that's next Tuesday, Tuesday the 25th. So is there anything I can do to help you out, Bill? Um, not really. I just got to clean that up. I mean, it was some stuff, I think, that was hanging in my dev file. I'm not even sure how it got there. Um, I'm not sure about it. So I'm still, I just now had a chance to sit down. I've been out on service all day long. And I just had a chance to sit down, so I was going through what the diff, um, what the differences were, um, and I was using compare on um, on uh, my um, um, GitHub. Sorry, I'm I'm half brain dead tonight, apparently, so I can't even think what I'm trying to say. <laughs> on my on my uh, GitHub, I was just comparing it, you know, on the dev branch to see what the differences were, which I should do more of, and, you know, I, right now what I'm really doing is going through this and seeing where I can see what the changes really were, and I'm going to make, I'm going to add to my Git sheet that I use, my cheat sheet, I'm going to add a very, you know, quick but comprehensive pull request, you know, run through, make sure checklist, you got these things done. <laughs> Because okay. every time I do it, I don't do it enough because I don't write enough code for this kind of stuff, and I get so busy with so many other things that I forget some little detail, and it, all of it always matters. And just I'm frustrated with myself for missing everything. <laughs> that's all right. That's 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 why pull requests are a conversation. Yeah. So I mean, it. I, there's nothing I really have to have help on with. I know what I what I need to do, but I I need to make myself reminders because I'm so scatterbrained. Apparently, sure. That's fair. And you know, when I did the pull, I should have known that because when I did the pull, that uh, schema um, had a conflict with mine locally, and I I should have just realized. And then you were talking the other day about having pulled out all that stuff for the calendar and so forth. I should have known to run migration. So well, um, I mean, the, the migration can be a little bit subtle, but but what's been interesting to me is is I think it's a Rails three Rails four difference that that maybe is just hanging around a little bit. I don't know if it's hanging around in our repo or your repo, but where where all the timestamps they've changed all the timestamps to be not null or maybe I can't remember if it's they changed it so that all the timestamps are are required to be not null or if they took that out. I I, I don't remember. But um, if you look, well, if you look down, 
the timestamp was definitely a conflict on when I pulled it down yesterday. So. Well, well, I mean, uh, sorry, like I, I mean, each table, right? The individual timestamps, the created at and updated at fields. Oh yeah. Yeah. So if you look at the diff on the pull request, for instance, let's do GitHub curriculum. Oops. Nope. We want GitHub the Odin project. Where do I want pull requests? All right. So if I go and find the schema, oh. Here we go. See all the all the date times. So in your version there is no null null false constraint. Whereas in our version there was or there is. And I seem there was to remember. On two of them. Sorry? But there was like on two of them, but not all of them. I had a uh, several conflicts in this file from the one, and I, I I just blew away all anything that was in mine and left what was from from upstream dev. Hmm. So so the the changes that I see here, at least in your last pull request, is I mean every single one of the timestamps got changed, or the the date time. Huh. But I mean that's just that's more or less just a formatting issue because I. I like I said, I think I think that came up when we switched from Rails three to Rails four. So I don't know exactly what's going on. Huh. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Let me see here. Schema. Well, I'm going to finish um, deleting. Let me see. Let me get back to GitHub here. Let's see here. Okay, so I blew away the icons we didn't need. Those are gone. Um, and that's added. Fine. We know what the one is. Um, let me look at your comment. All right, but better extra files, the additional image files. We got rid of those static pages. We um, that was it. Static pages js dot coffee. Um, I'm not. I guess I created that. Um, messing with some uh, coffee script and didn't get rid of it. That had nothing in it though. Okay, that's gone. And the DS stores, I was checking that out, and I looked up a way to pull them out. I, I, that's one that was, I think, in my original dev branch before all the get ignore um, changes. And so I got an odd problem with, or an odd situation with that. I should probably share my screen. Maybe I can show you. So these git files are actually removed, which seems to imply that they're actually part of the repo right now. Let me see. Where were they again? Do you mean the DS yeah. files? DS store? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're currently in there. Wow, it's from 10 months ago. Huh. Oh, you know what? That because that's what I was doing, and so maybe everybody else has got you know some some pollution there because uh, I had I had to look it up, but there was a git. Um, what was it? Let me see if I can find that command because I was just messing with it earlier today. Um, git rm dash r dash dash cast and then you give the file name, and that's supposed to remove it from the git index without deleting it necessarily. Um, you can delete it from, you know, you can just do git rm and delete. But the odd thing about it is, is it tells me that .ds store 
did not match any files. Although it comes up, you know, if you like tab through to com for file com or name completion, it does it. And if you do ls-a, you see it dot ds store. But when you try this command, it says that it didn't match any files. It's very strange. So git rm is what you would use, just just like you would rm, except it also removes it from git, and uh, that just deletes the file and removes it from the git index. This is supposed to just remove it from the index, but it, I don't know. So <laughs> Remove it from the index. But I mean, how, how, how can it be removed from the index if it's not a delete request? Because then it's a ghost file. Uh, you know, I'm not, I don't I know enough about Git to answer that. I know enough to be wrong. Let me <laughs> find it. Yeah, it just seems like it's either in the repo or it's not. So you're sort of, you're either removing it or you're not. <clears throat> Well, you have, you know, untracked files, and that's, I guess it's moving it back to an untracked, but I, I thought that was different, a, a different thing, and I'm trying to remember how, what I did there. Let's see, I did, uh, oh, all right. Mm, how did I do that? In history. Do you ever post on Reddit? No, I read it a lot, but I don't know. It's I, I'm not getting drugged down into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually I've actually removed it from my list of sites to visit, except for uh, in support of more you know focused goals. <laughs> right. um, but but I've actually noticed we got a uh, we've been getting a lot of referral traffic from Reddit lately. Really? Like I, you know I I just kind of check out the home page. I don't really even go to like programming or anything like that. Just for light reading, you know, when I've had about enough of everything else. Yeah. So let's see referrals. I mean referrals right now. We've had two hundred referrals today. And I mean that's no totally Reddit. That's awesome. It is, you know, but I, I can't find the article on Reddit where it's coming from. <laughs> you know, I might like, look like, uh, when I get on in the morning. I usually read a little bit before I get started, so I'm, I may try to find that. Yeah, it's a, I, I suspect it's probably Ashin because I know he every now and then posts on Reddit. But I mean, like 200 means that it's probably like there's a lot of people seeing it. If there if there's 200 people following the link. Like I just I can't find it. It's very frustrating. Because then I, you know, I want to be able to be like, hey, founder here, you know, like I can actually answer your questions. <laughs> yeah, do, do an AMA. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Um, how to remove a file from Git repository without deleting the actual file, and this thing's the other one. How to remove file from index without deleting files from any repository. So, git rm dash uh, cached my file, or, or um, a modified version was in a comment. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, maybe it was on this one. Nope. Neither one of these is the one I was reading originally. Oh, here we go. So I'll try that without the R dash R, I guess. Aha, we got the referral path. I found it. You find it? Found it. All right, let's see. Reddit.com. Yeah, still doesn't work on the get thing. Who is it? And probably working. <clears throat> Prefer to go back or not to go back to ASP. <laughs> I was just skipping to the bottom. There. <laughs> a buddy of mine's a, a big programmer in uh, ASP. He's he's all Microsoft stack and a little bit of Java. And <clears throat> he doesn't want to change. He's like, ah, I'm too old. I know what I'm doing. I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked in. C sharp a little bit, but that's about it.
Have you messed with Sinatra much? No, I haven't. I um, did the the most basic fire up and you know put up make a page appear and that was about it just to check it out. It's um, interesting, but it's missing a crap load of the you know done for you Ruby stuff. Which is fine if you were just, you know, popping up a static page or something like that. It would be probably real, right? Real handy, even if it had, you know, some good functionality in JS and stuff. But you know, you you would end up rolling your own security and, you know, what is that CSRF attack protection and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that Rails holds my hand. Stuff yeah, some of that. Funny. Some of that's really nice. There's another one that's kind of in between the two of them. I'm trying, is it Mojito, maybe? What is that called? I think it is. And I haven't really messed with it either yet. There's so many things I need to check out and I don't have time for. I really need to quit my day job. <laughs> if, I could, if only my wife would work and support me, I could do that. Yeah, mojito. 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 A MVC f application, yeah. Um, it's built somewhat on Rails. Hold on. What's that? You were doing what? Testing the dough maker. The dough maker. Right, on, my, on my blender, it has a dose setting. Oh, cool. Oh, that's good. JavaScript, huh? Interesting. Um, that's what I was thinking of. It's, uh, hmm. Dead gummit. <laughs> So I'm actually, I think at this point, I'm gonna leave the broadcast. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the broadcast. Just. Yeah, we're kind of out of the. Uh, yeah, I think we're out of the, out of the meat and potatoes and into the woods. <laughs> just to mix all kinds of strange metaphors and. Yeah. Stuff. Anyways, thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Padrino, that's the name of it.